Hi, this is Justin Calvelli with Engineering Pro Guys, and this is another video on the FE Mechanical Exam. We're focusing on the topic of probability and statistics, which accounts for four to six problems on the 110 FE Mechanical Exam. So this is part 3B, um, probability distribution tables, normal distribution. Uh, the previous part was focused on the binomial distribution, and the next one will be the T distribution. So I just discussed like the three different um, probability distributions, but there's also a fourth, the x squared distribution, which we covered after the t distribution. So a normal distribution, um, you need to be able to understand what the normal distribution table is and what the graph means and be able to use it in um, problems on the FE exam. So uh, it uses a different method from the binomial distribution table. So um, the previous video will not be applicable to this one. So first off, the outline of the normal distribution curve is a Gaussian distribution. And um, <clears throat> it describes the percent of the population at a certain value relative to the average value. So the center of the curve describes the average value. And as you can see, the majority of the population, as shown by a higher y value, is um, at the average value. Uh, on the x-axis, we have minus 3 all the way to positive 3. And these values correspond to the um, standard deviations away from the average. So 1 meaning that uh, a value is 1 standard deviation away from the average, then two, two standard deviations, and three standard, three standard deviations. Now, as you can see, as the standard deviations increase, the percent or of the population at those values also decreases. The sum under the curve of this normal distribution is equal to 1, or 100%. Um, so this makes sense since we're dealing with the uh, percent probability or the percent of a population at a certain value. So how is this graph used? So in the NCS FE reference handbook, you will see a normal distribution table. And on the left will be the x values. So those values will range from 0 all the way to 3. And um, once you choose which x value you want, then you can look towards the right of that table, and it will give you the um, lowercase f function values, the uppercase f function values, and then the uppercase r function values. And you need to understand what these values mean. So the lowercase f value is simply a single point on this graph. So if it was 1, then what is this value here? Um, for the uppercase r values, these things are more of a summation of values, the areas underneath the curve. So the rx value here shows you what those um, table values mean. So for a standard deviation of 1, an r value is equal to 0.1587. So this means that the percent of the population that is more than one standard deviation away from the average is equal to about 15.9%. Uh, only the positive values are shown in the table, but you can also use this value to get the r negative 1 value. So um, negative and one negative standard deviation away um, because the graph is symmetrical. The next way you can use the normal distribution curve is through the uppercase f function values. And these values tell you the probability that leads up to the x value that you have. So as you can see, it's the inverse of the uppercase r values. So for f1, or the values leading up to one standard deviation is 84.1%. And 
Again, those two values should add up to 1 because the area under the curve is equal to 1 or 100%. The third and fourth ways of analyzing the normal distribution is through the uppercase W values and the 2R values. So the 2R values is simply found by multiplying the R values that we previously discussed by 2. And so this value tells you probably that the sample will occur at a value greater than the absolute value of x deviations away from the mean. And the W um, uppercase W function values show you the inverse of those 2R values. So this is the area. Uh, under the curve between the, the values um, of the standard deviation values. So this is best described with a graph. So as you can see for 1, we have um, it actually doubled the values and it gives you the value directly and so you don't have to multiply it. So 0.3173. If you remember from R, 1 was 0.1587, so double that and we get the 0.3173. And then if we look at the W values, it's 1 minus this value is the area inside of the standard deviation values. OK, that's all for our normal distribution. And we will um, use this in practice problems in the future. Thanks. Bye.